but I have a reason for this foolery. Okay, a couple reasons. One, I have terrible, terrible sinuses. Uh, do you even know who you're watching? If you don't already subscribe, you better <laughs> subscribe, click, click, blah, blah, dip, dip. You know, do the thing. Listen, who doesn't love a little fun in their life? That's why you have to subscribe, darlings. So, as I was telling you, I've got a couple things going on with me. I've got sinuses. I've got all sorts of cheery little fun things going on with me. Therefore, it is imperative that I protect my eyes. Also, we are going to the scene of a fire. Yes, I said it. I'm coming. The scene of a fire. So, beware. What's the procedure? Is it bad that I just did a cookie wrench? Don't tell anybody. Yeah, I heard everything, Junior. Well, so guess what? Well, I'm gonna go and tell your daddy. All right, I'm gonna take these off because I just feel like you guys aren't taking me seriously. So I'm just gonna take them off, okay? Fine. Fire goggles go away. Okay. Today is an interesting day, folks. It's always something going on. So I get a phone call very early in the morning. There was a fire at one of the properties, an electrical fire in which the fire traveled through the walls, which is very dangerous, very dangerous, might I add, extremely dangerous because when a fire travels through the walls, the firefighters don't exactly know where to remedy the situation, which can get dangerous because they could be in one spot and then boom, there's an explosion in another spot. I'm sorry, I'm coming. Yes, 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 please. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that. Coffee run in the middle of... Anyhow, <laughs> I totally ignore that. I need my coffee. Okay, so anyways, I was just saying how that could be one of the most dangerous types of fires because you don't know where to remedy the situation and it's extremely serious because now you've got a three or four alarm fire and they're trying to figure out where the fire started from so it could be a real disaster so one of the tenants um, where I guess the point of origin of the fire she was home and um, she alerted the rest of the household, the two family, to really one of the tenants. She um, was home on the upper floor, and uh, that was like the point of origin where the fire started. She um, had went out, quote unquote, to smoke a cigarette, and then came back in and heard the fire alarm going off. So she's like. Well, maybe I shouldn't ignore that. Well, yeah, maybe not. So she says, oh, I want to go look. I didn't see anything. And that's what I mean by an electrical fire is a very dangerous fire because it can be in the walls and going uh, and going at full speed and you don't know it. So she um, said she couldn't identify any fire. And she said something just told her to continue to look around. And she went in the bathroom and boom. Super rude, but I totally needed my coffee, people. Thank you for bearing with me. It's been an extremely long day. As I was trying to tell you, it's been an extremely long day. Anyways, let's get going. Um, I'm gonna quickly go to the scene. Um, I'm not gonna go inside because we hustled all the tenants out of there and um, locked up the place. So I'm gonna put my fire shades back on because we're not that far away. And we, my darlings, okay. and we, my darlings, um, let's just go check out the outside because we're gonna turn 
this drab situation into a plus. Let me tell you why. I'm excited to tell you why. Well, first off, neither tenant was paying rent and I am not going to disclose the address as to avoid any legal nonsense. <laughs> um, neither tenant was paying rent. So this is a really, really good thing because the lease has um, stipulation in it that basically says that we don't have to fix the place and we can terminate the tenancy, which is exactly what we are going to do because now the tenant was paying rent. And yes, I understand it's a pandemic. We are all suffering. Please, <laughs> let's not get political. Let's remain neutral. Um, it's a pandemic for all of us, okay? Everyone's got bills. So we are terminating leases. We are turning this nasty situation into a plus because why, why, why? I am now going to sell the property while the market is at its peak. Yes, we are selling the property and I'm gonna get top dollar for it in this market, you dang straight in this market. I'm gonna get top dollar for it and I'm gonna turn those lemons into a nice cup of lemonade with spritz. Well, I can already see that we're lucky. See some. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You can't really see the damage, but I can smell the damage. I can literally smell smoke. Can literally smell smoke. So, they obviously got out of here in a bit of a rush. Oh, well, there's the fire damage. See it in the front, but you sure see it in the back. Well, good news, as I stated, good news because we are definitely going to sell this bad boy now. I'm gonna do obviously the repairs, we'll get the Necessary items repaired and we'll go to this place up a little bit so we can get top dollar. Listen, it could have been worse. You have got to turn lemons into lemonade. It could have been a lot worse and we're extremely lucky that that's all that occurred. And now, as I said, we get to sell it. We no longer have to keep a property that is negative. <laughs> in appreciation as in negative and not getting any rents so yeah we're gonna turn this mountain into a molehill if you don't already subscribe but you better because i am definitely going to show um our journey with fixing this house and selling it off so stick around if you don't already subscribe you know the drill click like boom boom bow and all that good stuff that you lovely people do and i'll see you soon I was a problem, they didn't